In this experiment, we will determine the flow rate of an open channel using slow scale. This apparatus is called experimental channel flame. So all the experiment will be conducted on this flame. So this flame is 16 meter long and 800 mm deep and 600 mm wide. This device is called slow scale. It's a commonly used for controlling the flow rate and finding out the flow rate. So the tools required are the sluice gate, then we'll need a digital level gauge and velocity meter and open channel flame. These are the procedure for conducting the experiment. And for finding out the flow rate at free flow and at summer flow, we'll be using these formulas where Q equal to mu AB root over 2Z S node, where S node is the upstream head, A is the height of gate opening, B is the width of the channel. Mu is the flow coefficient and Q is the discharge. So in this experiment, we have two types of flow. One is called free flow and the other is the summer flow. The flow is called free flow when the height of gate opening, that is A, is higher than the critical depth, that is S1. And it is called summer when the critical depth is higher than the height of the gate opening. And with this graph, we can find out the value for Mu, that is flow coefficient. It depends on the S0 by A and theta value. So for summer's flow, we have another coefficient called k, that is a backwater coefficient. So for finding out that coefficient, we'll be referring to this graph. This is called sluice gate, and this is the upstream, and this is the critical depth, and this is the downstream section. So this device is called distal level gauge, which is used for measuring the height of water. So, so I've already explained how to use the level gauge. So we'll be using this experiment, uh, this device for finding out the upstream head, downstream head, and the critical head. So by using the level gauge, we'll measure the upstream head, then the critical depth, and the downstream head. So after the measurement, for second trial, we'll increase the height of the gate opening and continue for more trials. So after the measurement, we'll note down the upstream head, then height of gate opening, critical depth, velocity, and downstream water level. And by using the formula which I've already given, we can find out the discharge, which is in meter cube per second.